let's make our home page first. From the panel on the left, I choose homepage.html. I have currently created some HTML codes as we learned in the previous lessons. I created the head and gave it the title Galaxy. Below the title tag, in the fourth line, I link the CSS file we created to this document. In this way, link rel equals open double quotation and type as stylesheet inside it. We are going to link the CSS code we made there. For that, href equals open double quotation, the CSS file name is given as style.css inside it. This tag is closed here using the forward slash and the angle bracket. After coming to the seventh line, I open the body tag. After entering here, I go to the eighth line. I open the img tag where I want to use a banner image on the web page. Now, img src equals open double quotation, click on the asset in the panel on the left side and select banner.jpg image. Give copy URL from this interface and copy the URL of the picture. Now come back to the index.html section and paste the copied URL in this quotation here. The styles related to this tag have been entered as hash banner before in the style sheet. Here id equals open double quotation and it is given as banner inside it. Now use the forward slash and the angle bracket to close this tag. Now we have finished using the banner on the web page. Now let's see if this image is displayed. I click preview and then click preview in a new window. Now you will get an output like this. Now from here I select the homepage.html. Now you can see our output. Now I come back to the homepage.html page. Now I come to the ninth line and open a new section tab. I create the navigation bar in this section. Because of that, id equals open double quotation and input the id called nav-bar that we created inside it next to the word called section. Now enter twice from the right side of the section, close tag and take it to the 11th line. Now I use a new tag. It is the span tag. This tag is just like the div tag. We block a part of the web page with the div tag, right? We use this tag as an inline tag. I use this tag here to keep the space between anchor tags on the same line. You may remember that I made a navigation bar like this in a previous lesson. But here, I use the span tag to separate the required space for the words. Now, in the 10th line, I open a span tag. Now, between these two tags, I open an A tag. Now, let's make the first link between the navigation bar. Normally, the first link in a navigation bar from home, we can come back to the same page. Now, href equal double quotation and let's give our homepage.html page next to the letter called A. Now, let's see whether it shows this home page when we click on the word home. Now, I click on the refresh icon in the previously opened preview window. Now you can see our output. You can see that when I move the cursor to the home page, our cursor icon changes to a hand. This means that this word is clickable. Now, when we click, you can see how the address bar refreshes. I am now assigning the class called nav that we created to this span tag. For that, class equal double quotation, type as nav inside it next to the word called span. Now, since I add two links like this, let's select the tag in the 10th line and copy it. Now come to the 11th line and paste it. Now let's change the path we need. Here, instead of the homepage.html, the name of our other page is given as gallery.html. Now here, instead of homepage, gallery is given. Now, this link has been added. Well, let's paste the tag that we copied earlier in the 12th line. Now, instead of homepage.html, I give the name of our other page as contact-us.html. Now, instead of home, it is given as contact-us. I now click on the refresh icon in the previously opened preview window. Now, click on the word gallery. 
Now we are directed to this gallery.html page which has not been created yet. Now after clicking on this, go to the back icon. Come to our homepage.html page and click on the word contact us. Now we are directed to this contact us.html page which has not been created yet. Now all these three links we added are working properly. Now we have finished making the navigation bar.